I signed myself up for today. Listen, I knew I was about to do full body workout and I just can't catch my breath right now. Um, let's see what we got going on. Sir, stand by. Okay. Why is this brightness so high? Oh, slowly dying inside, but in the best way possible. You guys, when I tell you, listen, listen, Linda, when I tell you that I feel like I peed my pants, look at this. <laughs> Bro, that is the workout drip. This little sweet sweat is no joke. Best $20 I've ever spent. Oh my god, that kicked my butt. So go check that out. It's over on my Amazon page. The link is down below for you guys. And let's see, we've got a 78 minute workout. And I burned 523 calories. I'm not mad at that. You can get a killer workout session at home. And I like to share some of my workouts that I do on my Insta stories. So if you guys have a chance to pop over there, it's like real action live motivation and I know when I'm on Instagram I like to look at videos like that and my favorite um, accounts that I like to follow just to get myself motivated to be active and to get sweaty for the day which I think we've definitely accomplished so I'll catch you guys in a little bit welcome to my little jungle you guys I'm back in the kitchen right now I want to give a huge thank you to Belle for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog now I've talked about them before here on my YouTube channel and I just wanted to pop back in and give you guys an update since then and let you guys know like what is fiber why should you increase your fiber in your daily intake so fiber is essential it's one of those things that's really gonna keep you regulated when it comes down to going to the bathroom so it's great for healthy digestion and with that comes no bloating. So that means you're gonna have a flat, flat stomach and it's just gonna help you keep everything moving so you're not having food just stick inside your body. So what I love about Bellway and what I noticed is it's very light on my digestion. I don't feel like any crazy urges, if you know what I mean. And I love that they are made with no sugars, natural ingredients, and fresh fruit. So I just mix one scoop in some water. I'm gonna use my little mixer here to blend it all together but if you have a shaker bottle you can shake that on up as well and you can have this one to three times out of your day for me i've just been taking it when i feel like i need to get more fiber like it's a supplement so take it when you feel like you need it and i always 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 tell you dolls to listen to your body if you tune into your body it'll tell you more things than you need to know so for me if i know that i'm not eating enough fresh produce or i'm not eating enough healthy carbs, then this is a great time to go in and supplement my fiber for the day. So I'll drop a link in the description box below so you guys can check this out. I love the lemon lime. I also have some individual single serve packets here which they make which are amazing so if you guys don't like lemon lime they also have the raspberry lemon flavor as well as the mixed berry which is really really tasty and these are great on the go and if you want to take them to work or keep in your bag and whatnot you know on the go type of vibes so definitely give them a browse and check them out you guys know i'm all about my supplements i have a mini little gnc here in my kitchen and it's definitely been the boost that i feel like i need on my fitness journey because let's be honest we're in quarantine still so i'm gonna sip on this and then i'm gonna hop my butt in the shower because we are still sweaty mess over here and then i'm gonna show you guys what i'll be eating throughout the day so that you guys can get some inspo on some quick and easy meal ideas that you can make and prepare at home. Again, very simple to do, and they're going to be very nutritious, very healthy, and requires very little ingredients, because that's what I'm all about over here on my YouTube, is making things very simple and easy, not complicated, because I find when things are complex, there's too many elements, then it just makes it a little bit easier for me to not want to do those things. I don't know. Do you guys relate to that? Drop a comment down below and let me know. All right, guys, I decided I'm going to have my ginger shot this morning as well. Got my water here and my berries. Lee and I are going to hang out and uh, get some sun. I'm actually about to sit in that corner over there on this poof and do some journaling for the day. It's so nice. It's like 80 degrees and 
We're thriving. I'm so excited. On a target run mainly to get some produce and some things that I needed for some meals that I'll be making today and then the next few days so I got some almost ripe avocados I got this thing of strawberries these looked really yummy and juicy today and since I'm doing a what I eat in a day I'll be able to show you guys what I'll be having throughout my day I picked out two of these salad kits just to make life a little bit easier and since it's so warm here I've been craving fresh produce and juicy fruits and stuff so I thought these will be really good to incorporate within my day so I got the Asian style and then I also got the Southwest this one has dairy in the dressing so I'll make my own dressing for that and I want to add something to this like a protein source to bulk it up for a complete meal I also got some hot sausage for a recipe that I'll be making in today's video and then I got some sweet peas and some green bell pepper and then I also like to have Ritz crackers on hand for snacks and honestly they're just so good I love my salty savory snacks so that was my very small grocery haul from Target and I don't mind getting my produce and stuff from Target if it looks good like this asparagus looked really good today I love the thick pieces I don't like the skinny tiny asparaguses so I think I can roast this up in the oven for meal prep and it'll turn out to be very very delicious so the base of the acai smoothie is so simple I've got maybe like one large frozen banana always freeze them when they're ripe that way they are sweet and it balances out the bitter taste of the acai packet I get mine from Trader Joe's you could also substitute this for acai powder which if you don't have access to getting this I definitely recommend ordering some on Amazon again it's on my Amazon page and to balance out the sweetness with the bitterness I like to add something tart so a mixed berry is my personal favorite of course you could just do the acai with the bananas but I had these and I needed to use them up so I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of these frozen berries into my blender cup and for the liquid I like to use almond milk and you only need a splash of this because you want the acai bowl to be thick and creamy and not like a smoothie texture so I'm just gonna break up this packet I did stick it in the microwave for like 20 seconds just to kind of defrost it a bit milk again I don't have too much you just want enough of it to blend everything together okay it's getting nice and thick and creamy as far as your toppings go you could add literally anything that you like fresh fruit would be awesome if you have some of that like some fresh berries or banana I don't have any banana that's fresh that I would like to add but I will be topping mine off with some coconut flakes I've got some cacao nibs my favorite granola here from Trader Joe's the almond butter granola if you know you know and of course some chia seeds these are some great superfoods for your omega-3 fatty acids also great source of fiber for the day and they will also keep you full longer because they do expand in your belly cacao nibs are packed with antioxidants and magnesium so it's a great superfood again to incorporate within your meals
Why did you send me some masks? They're cute. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I want the black and white one. I want the pink camouflage one. Um, it's not camo, mommy. Well, it looks like camo. So my Man, grandma. Those are ice masks. This one looks like that cup that you would see at Target, the paper cup. She did, Mom, but I like to coordinate, switch it up. Mom, this is not a fashion show. <laughs> I am back, and right now I'm going to make some stuffed bell peppers. Shout out to Bee Loves because she inspired me to make this meal this week. My mom used to make this for us all the time. So today I'm just going to put my own spin on the recipe. So I have two really nice sized bell peppers, and then I got these green ones. They're kind of small, but they will still do the trick. So get whatever kind of bell peppers that you guys like. I always say try to get the biggest ones that you can. For the protein source, I'm going to be mixing seeing some of this Jimmy Dean hot pork sausage. I love some spice. That's really bomb. And I'm going to mix it with some ground chicken. You're also going to want some onion, which I'm going to grab some more and dice it. You need some tomatoes and some Italian seasoning mix, salt and pepper for the most part. That's like basically everything you're going to need. If you eat dairy, you could definitely add cheese to this or get your hands on some dairy-free cheese. Unfortunately, at the store, they were all out, so I'm going to be making this without the cheese topping, which is kind of upsetting, like the dairy-free alternative, but you know what? I guess it's a little bit healthier without all the processed additives. So over here, I have a pot of water, which is boiling. This is what we're going to use to prep our veggies and I'm going to actually preheat my oven right now to 350 so that this will be ready for us when we have everything ready to go. You're also going to want a big skillet so we can start cooking down the meat. gonna add some salt to help enhance the flavoring. You don't want to cook these too long because they are gonna go in the oven and continue to cook further so I just kind of want to soften the shell of the bell pepper so it doesn't take as long in the oven to finish up. And I did go in and heat up some brown rice. Shout out Trader Joe's for the quick cooking rice. And this is gonna go in the pan as well. Dump that right on in there. Again, I'm using brown rice. You could use white rice, you know, whatever it is that you have. I'm gonna turn this down and then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes. Just want the tomatoes. I don't want all that liquid because I don't want it to be like a soup or something. So I'm gonna add my Italian seasoning. I like using the 21 Savage. It's actually 21 Salute from Trader Joe's. Probably gonna use the rest of this. good okay guys um sorry my vent went on because it's just too much sauce in the kitchen so i just took the peppers out of the water and this is what they look like they're a little tender but they're going to continue to cook in the oven so you definitely don't want to over boil them now my mom was telling me that if you are going to make this with cheese like she does definitely mix the cheese into the stuffing at this stage like while it's on the stove top and then you want to top it all off with more cheese but I'm gonna skip that step today for obvious reasons. And I'm just gonna go in and start 
stuffing my little peppers. that's looking so good and they're not even fully cooked yet so I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and I'm gonna let everything continue to cook They smell so good of course I know I know it just hits different with cheese on top and it's all gooey and it has a little bit of a, a little caramelization but I am not mad at this dairy free alternative but I'm gonna let those cool because it's very hot and you can see the peppers got a little charred just lightly I'm Ed I'm 54 years old people know me as Big Ed I have another stuffed bell pepper literally just finished the first one okay guys I I'm putting 90 Day Fiance on pause. I literally just finished eating 20 minutes ago and now I have another little bell pepper that I am munching on. I don't know why, I just, I, I, I guess your girl's hungry and it's six o'clock right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful, beautiful binge watching session. I'm still here watching 90 Day Fiance and it is going on eight o'clock. And I think I'm gonna make a protein shake because I don't wanna eat something heavy, but I want something. And I'm craving strawberry shake. So I'm gonna go make that. I was supposed to make a baking treat today, but I just, <sighs> listen. I've been in the kitchen all day, I feel like. I'm tired. But maybe after I watch another episode of 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> I could do my baking slash cooking with Kayla video. Also, I've just been filming all day, so I look, look at this. A mess. Almond milk. Protein powder. Shaker cup. That's all you need. So you guys know that I have been loving my blessed protein. This is not sponsored. It's vegan plant-based. And I have the strawberry milk, which is my personal favorite. I did a whole review video for those of you that might be on the market for supplements, but this is up on my Amazon page. So if you got Amazon Prime, super duper quick shipping. And you know, if you don't like it, you could always just exchange it. So I'm gonna do a full scoop. Because I need more protein in my day today. And again, if I don't wanna have like meat or animal product, having a protein shake is my go-to. And then I add my almond milk. And you guys, I go through so much almond milk in a day. This little thing is almost empty. Just from like my acai bowl from earlier, my coffee this morning, and now my protein shake. It's crazy. Gotta get these gains, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell next to it so you don't never miss an upload. And I will catch you guys with a new vlog very soon. Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> get it together. I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Why, 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 why